Friends, will you stand and affirm me in joining what we believe? This is the good news. The grave is empty. Christ is risen. This is the good news. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never put it out. This is the good news. Once we were no people, now we are God's people. Please be seated. Join me in prayer. Eternal God, we no longer look for Jesus among the dead for he is alive and is truly the Lord of life. Surprise us with his presence this day. May the glory of new life be real and fresh within our hearts. You are our salvation. You take away the power of sin, bringing forth the one who makes everything new. May we be truly alive this day to the possibility of new life. Out of violence and hate in the world, you bring forth love and forgiveness. We pray for your world to know this love. We pray for all who work to secure peace. And we pray for leaders that they might work for the least of these. Jesus Christ, creation's gardener, you went into the grave to drive out the power of the world. You shut the doors of pain and death and opened the gates of glory to those who trust in you. We thank you for your redeeming grace. We pray for all who long to trust in you and your faithfulness. In relationships, those who fight illness, cancer, depression, despair. We pray for those for whom there is no joy, those who grieve and doubt, those for whom holidays bring on loneliness and despair. We remember the friends and family of Ellie Thurston and Barney Roscoe. May they know your peace. Holy Spirit, anointer of new life, continue to open our eyes to faith and touch our lips with glad songs of victory. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. May we be a people so filled with joy that our lives reflect the risen Christ. Let us give of ourselves and our gifts in that spirit.